Shavers, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be examining a luxury barber box from one year ago. Yes, this box has not been touched for over a year. Uh, it came to me in November of 2015 and I used to get a lot of them and um, I still have some that I have never opened and this is one of them. So I'm going to be opening this. You could see luxury barber and they all come with the card and it does have on the, a date on it that says November box 2015 so I could go through all of these but instead of doing that let's just open it up and find out what it is now to be honest I put the comb uh, back in here I did use this comb from the box uh, I just opened it up took it out I used it so I put it back in so that is uh, that has been used already but everything else nothing is touched so this is a, a high life hairdressing high quality uh, looks like a pomade so I'll be uh, trying that out let's open it up and see what that looks like oh okay it's one of those like gel type so um, that's pretty cool uh, okay and this is a this is a fresh Richie, and they come in every box, luxury barber box. Everyone never had one that didn't have at least one of these in there. So that's that. And this is an aftershave bomb from Dicky Bar. So that's pretty cool. I'll be using that. And this is. Um, Billy Jealousy, it's a facial cleanser. And here we have a sample of Ozark Mountain. That, that's like one of my favorites from Sterling. Oh, that's such a great scent. If you haven't tried it, do so, because that is awesome. And what is this? We have a uh, blades, and they're chroma, chroma blades. We also have uh, we also have a sterling barbershop aftershave. Wow, that's nice. Let's see what that smells like. We'll crack that open. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> love this stuff. I love these boxes. I wish I was still getting. Ah, uh, let's see. And let's see, for the last two things, we have Dr. Brandit. It's a uh, pores vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and this is a super close shave formula. And this is Baxton. So this looks interesting. I'll try that too. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to, I want to try some stuff from here. So I'll try uh, either this um, shaving formula. Uh, I'll try the uh, aftershave balm. And I'll put on the barbershop uh, aftershave as well. And maybe I'll just use the uh, Ozark Mountain and do a shave with it. So... Let's go, let's do it. Hey Wood Shavers, welcome back. Uh, so, we saw in the beginning of the video that uh, the Luxury Barber box from November of 2015 was open. We saw the contents and I did some thinking and this is what I'm gonna do. We have a shaving cream uh, from that box called, it's a Baxter shaving cream. We're gonna be using that today. We're also gonna be using the aftershave balm from Tiki, Tiki Bar. And then after that, 
I'm going to be putting on the Sterling Barbershop scent aftershave. And I think I might even, I don't know, uh, redo my hair with this pomade. So, with that said, let's get to it. Okay, so I'll be uh, using the Baxter shaving cream right now. And for the tools, I'll be using the Mason Lambert brush. And uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'm going to be calling it Mason Lambert until I learn French. And then um, I have the uh, Razor Rock Slant, so I'll be using that too. Um, so let's wet the face. Oh, and there'll be no bowl lathering because this is your shaving cream. I'll be doing a face lather. I'm going to wet this brush right now in preparation of doing the face lather. Got the, uh, got it right here. I'm just going to put uh, about that much on. So let's, uh, let's apply it. It's real slick, that's for sure. Um, the scent is, it's hard to describe. I want to make sure I have enough on. And now I'm just going to wash my hands off. And then, uh, Still going to wet this brush a little, shake it off, and then start doing this face lather here. Well, this isn't working out. Hmm. So now I'm going to put a whole ton of it on, like this. says to use a badger brush. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Hmm. Not the best experience I'm having. I'm not having a good experience here. But you know what I'll do? Forget about the brush. I'm just going to work it in with my fingers. It seems to have some cooling properties like menthol the difference. It's not making really any lather at all. So what I'm going to do is just start to shave right now.
So, I definitely was disappointed in the lather. Um, I thought it would build up as I used the brush. But according to this, apply the cream to, the, to a wet face. Uh, and then it says, um, a application with the Badger shaving brush recommended. So, I did the recommended application instructions and uh, it didn't really make any lather whatsoever. So I don't know what they're talking about. So I would say this is a fail on this. So if you're expecting lather and it doesn't. Now, was I able to take that without a brush and, and uh, apply it to my face like a regular cream would be that doesn't lather and still be able to shave? Yes, I did that. You saw it and um, I was able to shave. Was it a close shave? Yes, it was a close shave. Was it the best shave that I've ever had? No. Um, I'm still feeling some tingling on the, uh, you know, whatever was in this product. Um, and the, um, the scent is uh, like a fresh, like a fresh mint, I think. I'm, I'm not even sure. It's not mint, but it's like acting like a fresh mint. And um, so there you have it. That's California Super Close Shave Formula from Baxter. Not what I expected. So let's go over to the, um, the aftershave bomb, the Captain from Tiki. And let's apply that to the rescue of this shave. Mmm. This is nice. Very nice. Very nice scent. And I'm going to top this off now that this is totally in my skin. I'll put on the uh, the Sterling Barbershop. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That is a that's a great barbershop scent. Wow. I'm gonna put more on. Okay. So there you have the shave. Uh, most of the products I used, I liked, except for this um, Baxter uh, shaving cream. Um, so, um, what did I experience? Not everything in the box is always going to be 100% to your liking, and that's just normal. Um, I'm just a little disappointed in the performance of that particular product. I thought it would be a lot better than, than what I uh, experienced. So with that, I had uh, an okay shave. I hope you have a great shave. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.